Hi, I'm Emil Heskey, former Leicester, Liverpool and England striker. The thing is with with Villa, they've 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 not done particularly great in the in the uh, transfer window as of late. So um, they've struggled with strikers. Um, so he's another one that uh, that has done very well at Brentford um, and has scored a lot of goals. But again, is the answer? Uh, only time will tell. It's going to be a difficult jump for him because again, you're going from uh, a Championship up into up into. Um, into the Premier League and it's not easy and we've seen it time and time again but he's got plenty of pace um, likes to play off the wing as well so it'll be interesting to see actually whether he actually plays number nine or or plays off the wing and, and drifts a little bit um, I know it's going to be a tough one for Villa for him and Villa because they don't really play possession based so it'll be interesting to see Uh, Champions League top six I'm going to go Liverpool Man City uh, Chelsea United um, and then I'm going to go uh, Arsenal and I'm going to throw a spanner in the works I'm going to go Wolves um, and then um, relegation um, West Brom Fulham and sadly Villa uh, yeah um, it's going to be a tough one down there but again they, you, you can throw into the mix probably West Ham um, uh, who else yeah, yeah probably them the, the thing is back then back then uh, no we wouldn't have been comfortable uh, being filmed like that but it, it, it's great because it gives the fans an insight into what actually goes on day to day so it's, it's wonderful to see that but again um, you can see that a lot of people are aware that it's, that it's, that it's uh, being filmed and they're conscious of how they're actually being portrayed and stuff like that but yeah it's funny to watch because it, it brings back memories of certain things that happen within the changing rooms that no one knows about and now, now it's all uh, brought to light but that's the um, the PG version, by the way. Um, good question. When you when you're looking at Liverpool, uh, I would love to have played in that t- that front three, um, and played with the likes of Salah and and and, and Mane, uh, myself up front, uh, getting getting crosses from Trent and uh, Robertson. That would have been nice. Um, so yeah, probably someone a team like that, or you know, when you're looking at the Man Cities, etc., they, they're so free flowing. It's just it just looks effort, effortless. Um, so yeah, someone someone like a De Bruyne would be a, a wonderful player to play with all the front three of Liverpool. Yeah, I did because again, they're both leaders. They're both moaners. And when you say moan, when I say moaners, it's just they want the best from you and they want the best out of you. So when you see that, you're thinking, yeah, they're, they're gonna they're gonna come on uh, become managers because they want the best from the team and they want the best from the players and they demand the best from you and they demand the best from the players. So you're seeing that within what they're doing within within the Scottish Premier League and they're getting the best out of what they've got. Um, you know, and the, uh, Neil Lennon has been doing it a little bit longer. Um, but he's done a fantastic job at Celtic, uh, even before when he before he left, and now he's back and he's doing the same thing. He's just pick, pick, taking up that baton again and and ran with it. Uh, uh, and then you got Stevie, who uh, Rangers they fell away a little bit, um, obviously with all the financial problems they had. But now it seems like he's been under his tuition. They they look like they're coming back to where they should be, looking very very sturdy and very very solid team. Um, with the principles and the, and 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 the philosophies that he's bringing to them, they're looking great. I think he's. I think he will be in Gareth South, Southgate's thinking, to be honest with you, especially because he's a young lad as well, um, and what he's actually doing. Um, he's done. He's done a fantastic job at job, fantastic job at uh, Everton. He's got one of the best um, teachers in Big Donk anyway. Um, how to attack a ball. 
Um, but yeah, I think he's done a great job. He's a young lad and he's, he's got plenty of time on his side in a sense and um, he'll get better and better in what he's doing. Um, his hold up play is getting better. So he's bringing more people into play and he's got, like you're saying, he's got good good people around him in the sense of learning. Um, but if you put the ball in the, in, the, in the box like they did for that free kick, he, he'll go and attack them all day long. He wants them. That's what he thrives off. So it'll be interesting to see, like you're saying, with given the different options that you could possibly have with him, whether whether Gareth was, will be actually putting him in a in a in one of the squads soon. Because like you're saying, it's no use going with the same old all the time when you need a game to when you need someone to change a game or you need a different different approach. Um, he could be that guy. 